Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MT Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve your control panel not opening up in your Windows device. So in lieu of going into any malware or virus based discussions, assuming that your computer is clean from any kind of infection of that nature, we're going to go over how to hopefully resolve on this issue. So we're going to just jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up File Explorer. So if you have an icon on your desktop that looks like a little file, you can open that up or you can go through the Start menu and search up File Explorer. Since I already have it on my taskbar, I'm just going to click on that. So now up in the address bar, what you want to do is type percent sign system root. System root should be one word another percent sign. Now you want to do a backslash system 32 and then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. Now that we're in this folder in the box at the top that says search system 32 click inside this box and now you want to type dot cpl and then you want to hit enter So the first one at the top should say appwiz.cpl, very conveniently towards the top. At this point you want to try and double click on it. This should open up the control panel. So try doing that and see if it works. You could also right click on the start button, left click on run, and then just type in appwiz.cpl. See if that opens up as well. And you can see we are in the control panel. If you're still experiencing a problem here, there's a good chance that we have an issue with our file associations. So at this point, what we're going to do is close out of this window if you have any windows open. Click on the Start menu. You want to type Default Program. Underneath settings, you want to left click on choose a default app for each file type, for each type of file. You do not want to click on the best match in this scenario, you want to click on this one. So click on it. So underneath associate file types with specific apps, you want to scroll down this list until you get to .cpl on the left side. It's all alphabetical, or at least it should be. So you see this control panel item on the left side here. You want to left click on it. CPL on the right side directly across from it should say Windows Control Panel. If it does not, click inside this box and then select it from this list. It should say Windows Control Panel. Now keep in mind if you're using an earlier version of Windows, so Windows 7 or Windows 8, I believe it combines the file type and the protocol association windows together, meaning you can do both of them from the same window if you go through default programs. And similarly you would see C.CPL on the left side and then by either double clicking on it or clicking on the description I believe you could go through and choose an app to sync up with it as the default file association. So this should be pretty universal for different versions of Windows. It just looks a little bit different on Windows 10 so I don't want you guys freaking out about it. So make sure that that is correct and close that again. See if control panel will open up again properly. 
If it's still not opening up right, you can always run the system file checker scan. So SFC space forward slash scan now utility that you can run through a command line window. So just keep that in mind. You do have other options. So I do hope one of the methods that have been discussed in this tutorial worked for you. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.